Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. So, uh, OBS, uh, if you could record the video with the game audio as well, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, hey everybody, Artie and Marty are back for more Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. I'm not sure how much of this people will actually notice, but I'll just say the last ten videos we recorded, some of them we split into two episodes. Mm -hmm. Uh, last ten videos that we recorded, in, like, or sessions we should be recorded, OBS did not record any of the game audio. So that's fun. So I'm not sure how noticeable that will be. It might be I just put in the music. It might be I re-record everything Briefing. exactly the same way we, we recorded it the first time. I can do that because I could be watching the video in the background. and It do still that. stinks though. It would stink either way, but hopefully you won't notice that. But anyways, we fixed it now. Lord willing and the crick don't rise. Anyhow, mm -hmm. we're still on Turnabout Beginnings, the part 1-1 one, one trial. Marty is already like, this sucks. I just... <laughs> wish we had more information about these because i hate going into something unprepared i mean i can wing it but it's annoying well we're cross-examining melissa foster today <laughs> it was definitely not, not dahlia, dahlia hawthorne. hawthorne she's even wearing the same clothes D does she only have one outfit <laughs> this is her court outfit no this is just her outfit she was wearing this on the day doug swallow died yeah, she was wearing she was. this when they, she bumped into Phoenix this in the is, courthouse is, like six months ago. Artie, this is anime. Every character wears this the same not outfit every day. <laughs> this doesn't become life. anime until the 3DS one. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> there are anime cutscenes and they're terrible. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh no! She was Maya, using her camera the to get <laughs> pictures. Wait, what? Wait, no, wait. I'm just trying to imagine like a weird cutscene of like Maya doing a samurai kick. Um, the 3DS ones take place after this, and it's okay, Apollo Justice. Okay, uh, Apollo Justice and his other sidekick, who should be Maya, because they're not gonna it's be basically original. basically I was about to say, it's not, they're not gonna be original. <laughs> they so. have one sidekick, and it's... Ah! <laughs> upbeat girl with tragic past. I Any guess Maya had a tragic past, yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of all of her family's dead. Yeah. Or tried to kill her, and then there's yeah. Pearl. Oh, I forgot about Morgan, yeah. Okay. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Use the camera to take pictures of wildflowers. Did you say wildflowers? Yes, the mountain is famous for its beautiful spring wildflowers. Um, but it's only February. Well, I I couldn't wait for spring to come. <laughs> oh, uh. Um, you need oh, yeah. a new voice. Wait, uh, okay, so he still has the, like the cranky like ah <laughs> for me, FA. Yeah, but different but we need voice. A different voice. Um, okay, um, let's, like, do all oh, I can I do. know just how- wait, I was trying to do, like, a doc voice from Snow I know Wars. just how you feel. <laughs> I know just how you feel. Okay. <laughs> it's just like when I first started growing this glorious beard of mine. I just couldn't wait, so I wore a dyed blonde Santa beard till mine grew in properly. Would you mind if we got back to the facts of the case, Your Honor? <laughs> yeah, this works. is- well, actually, no, Mia's the sane one here. Yeah. Then we notice two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Okay. Was there anything strange about the two of them? I... I'm a bad girl. I know I am. Yeah, you are. You've kind of murdered people. Well, not yet. That we know of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looked like they were having a really serious conversation up there. I mean, let's be honest. She's probably gonna have something. Huh. Maybe. Of or maybe course. or maybe she was just like a totally normal girl and then she was like, ah, turned psychopathic after this. I, I, I think she's gonna have something know. tragic happen, and then that's gonna like cause her to like go crazy set down the path of crazy. Okay. Uh did you, you read yeah. that? Yeah. So I decided to watch them like some kind of peeping tom. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> no, not at all. Everyone's like that. I love watching other people fight too. What? In fact, wait. What? <laughs> what? Fight! 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 fight the pigs. <laughs> fight, fight, fight! 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 The babies. Fight! 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 fight. <laughs> in fact, I can't get enough of it. Actually, that's why I took this job in the first place. Too much info, your honor. In any case, it's perfectly natural for you to have kept watching them. Especially dressed as they were. Um, I would have gotten out of there. Completely? I would have been like... But, it's, but you found Carmen San Diego. You found the part of the world with she was With somebody in. who escaped from prison. That's just, um, empty pockets. Wow, no. <laughs> well, 
Well, anyway, I was watching them very closely. Where are you now? Suddenly, they just started fighting! <laughs> is she- is that like- <laughs> the, is she sweating there? Or is that like the single man we tear? Like, <laughs> I think it's, um... Looks she like... seems kind of like taken aback, like, how dare you? So I think it's more of a sweat. Okay, that's what I always thought, but I just realized it was right below her eye. And it that's could be generally not where sweat goes. You sweat from your eyes, that's what they say. That's what Buford <gasps> says. <laughs> that's what a lot of people say. Do you have any idea what they were fighting about? Uh, no, I have no idea. Why do you ask that? Oh, I just thought that maybe you overheard what they said. You just admitted that you were spying on them, so, I mean, don't even try this. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna try it. I would never, I would never eavesdrop. She's like stalking people, spying on them. That's okay. That's okay. Killing people. people yeah, yeah, sure. Just... Stealing. Oh yeah. Poisoning. I mean, oh yeah. Whatever. Blackmail. Totally. Oh, but eavesdropping. eavesdropping? Oh, you're going no. to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I've got more class than that. That's right, Miss Fay. Don't drag the witness down to your level. <sighs> This judge is quickly before. becoming the worst character. No, he's the best. <laughs> In this case, he's the best? What, hey, what uh, about Edgeworth? What about Go Diego Go? <laughs> I don't care about Did you Go hear that? Diego. Go Diego Do. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about it. I think the part of it is that there's all these repeat characters and the judge we've seen before. Mm -hmm. We really haven't voiced him before because he's just been there for like two seconds when we were like, Who's Party me! Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like for two seconds. So it's yeah. kind of nice to have someone new. Okay, I, I get that. I think that's nice. So took the photo that but shows the crucial, crucial moment. moment. Why did you why did you take a photo? Well, the two of them were really going at it. She's like eavesdropping is unforgivable, but I'll take pictures. <laughs> sure. Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a news reporter. Well, that makes sense, though, because she was in the literature department, right? What does that have to do with photography, like, at News all? reporter. That's, like, when you take notes. Oh, okay, well, yeah. That's there like is when some they... photography, too. That's, like, it's... the person in every superhero movie that's like, Who are you, like, Spider-Man? He's like, <laughs> Just the guy who's <laughs> trying to, like, keep yeah. the peace. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, the news reporter in every film. Um, that's what she wants to be. I guess that part of me just kind of took over. Smells like a lie to me. <laughs> yes, or yes, I understand completely. Even now, I can't completely abandon my boyhood dreams. Wait, this isn't Doc anymore, is it? Okay, uh, think I of Doc. What does he it's... say? He messes up all the things. Now, pick up the soap! <laughs> and scrub it up! And <laughs> go... <laughs> that is the weirdest scene in that movie. Um, hi ho! Just get in the. Get I in the still movie. use my grandson to test my comedy routines on. There you go. So we wanted to be a comedian, huh? Not that it has any bearing on this. All I could do was use my camera. So I took the photo of the crucial moment and gave it to the police. And right after that, I called the police. Well, good for you for not taking, like, two good hours like Putt-Putt did. You. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to say, like, old CD, but Putt-Putt oh. Like did. old Sneep did. Old Sneep. <laughs> old Sneep who sat on the church, <sighs> sucked a lemon, and caused nearly a national crisis. Yep. You called the police? You sucked on a lemon? Yes, because it looked to me like the murderer was going to try to escape. Why wouldn't you run away? <laughs> we were already moving before the call even came in. Thanks to the victim's note, we had already started our operation. Cool. Wait, hmm. what? That was certainly tough luck for the criminal, eh? If Terry Falls isn't the criminal, then there must be something strange in that girl's testimony. Be careful, kitten. That girl has the judge wrapped right around her little finger. Like every witness does. <laughs> You're <laughs> going to have my delicious, like, Caviar delight. Ooh, what's a wine vibe? Ooh. <laughs> I guess we can make, <laughs> make an exception. exception. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have a tough time poking holes in that testimony of hers. You're going to have to come up with something really good, Mia. 
All right, so taking photos of the wildflowers. Oh, see, this is the problem with trying to figure out contradictions when we stop the video recording in the middle and then wait a couple days. Because then I okay. forget about Let's everything. Let's look at the evidence. We have our a attorney's camera. badge. We have the autopsy report. Sure. Step in the back, died between four and five. <laughs> this sounds like an auction. It is it and it's got this wonderful <laughs> autopsy report, report. everybody. <laughs> Start the bidding at $10. $10, <laughs> $10 come on. $20 for the months. man in the back wearing the yellow helmet. Yes, yes. How about $30? Yep. Do I have $30? Yep, Dusty exactly. Bridge map. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. Uh -huh. uh, we got the victim's note. She was w wearing the white scarf for identification. Meat See, falls 430 at that bridge. So, here's my question. Is, like, Terry Falls, like, so well-known of a criminal that if you see that name, people are like, Oh my gosh, she's meeting a criminal! Probably not. I okay, mean, he was, how... he was charged of kidnapping and murdering one person, like, okay. uh, five years ago. Right. So what I'm trying to figure out is how did Edgeworth, like, Edgeworth was like, Oh, our team, like, we already started going before she'd even called the police. We're like, how? Just from the note? That it says Falls? Well, the police might have known. But, like, common people wouldn't have. Sure, and but also, he's saying his team knew before she had even called simply because of what was written on the note. So what I'm trying yeah, to figure yeah. out, so they would know, you think, from yeah, the name? Yeah, okay. they would, I believe. Okay. Also, keep in mind that, yeah. uh, at the very least, our defendant stole a car. And the people who he stole the car from also called the police. On that him. would probably... Yeah. This is all... Yup. So, is... yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. Crime photo. This is Grand Theft Auto 5, in a nutshell. <laughs> no, not that exciting. I don't know, he- th The way that I think of it is like, he's like, I need a car to get up the mountain to meet this person! <laughs> and like, throws them out of the car, like in Grand Theft Auto, and you drive off. And you try to drive up the mountain, but you keep falling <laughs> over pickup. and over again. <laughs> oh no, please! Get off. <laughs> yeah. Warned by the victim at the time of the incident, found on Dusky Bridge. It's like when you try and drive a bus up the mountain. Um, I gotta fix this turret up. Oh, uh, okay, Seems the witness taken photo. by the witness. Oh, wow. Not so she was taking it from that still. area. And he's like, oh. Uh. He, he has his arms like this, and then she's like He's this. hugging his teddy bear. Okay. Um, and then camera. Melissa Foster took small, the witness's photo with this. A small but powerful, powerful model. model. Um, that sounds like the description for a future witness. Wow. A small but powerful model. Like, it's like, oh, we're calling Larry Butts' ex-girlfriend number 18 to the stand. I would love if that <laughs> happens. If, like, his girlfriend... Please call Keyonce to yeah. the stand. Yeah, if that happens, I will be super happy. Well, I mean, Dolly may have gotten around. Maybe she's I love dating Larry in the past. camera even is the same color as her outfit. Like, she's very <laughs> coordinated, I'll give you that. But yeah, but she's also a I know. terrible person. I agree. <laughs> okay, I'm not so that's saying, the evidence we yep. have. So she no, took photos of the wildflowers. She that's saw fine. two people. They started fighting. Yeah, that's fine. She took the photo that shows the crucial moment. That could be the problem, but keep going. And then right after that, I called the police. Did she, does she have a phone? Do we know this? I mean, we don't have her phone in the court record, but I mean, but she's, like, a, she's a college student. A college and if she was student. alone on the mountains, I really hope, hope she, she took had a cell a phone. <laughs> Okay. I Even mean, she had a camera, so she might as well have a phone. So, right after that, she called the police. Otherwise, she took a photo of the crucial moment. I don't think the crucial moment would be when they're talking to each other. I think the crucial moment would be a photo of, of the guy him stabbing, stabbing her. That's so a good I think point. that's what I, we need to pre All present. Right. Sweet. Witness, when you said you took a photo of the crucial moment, is this what you meant? Uh... All I can see in this photo are two people facing each other. You testified that you saw the two of them starting to fight. Normally, that's the kind of thing that we would refer to as a crucial moment. Why haven't you presented a photo like that? Sorry, I had my finger slipped. It's fine. <laughs> it's funny that she's just like... <laughs> well, you see... The photo we presented was the only one there was. But if you really wanted to capture the crucial moment, then what happened next? You must have taken a photo of it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> er, um, my apologies, young lady. But Miss Faye's assertion is not without a certain amount of merit. He can certainly downplay a situation, can't he? I am sorry. I'm a very bad girl. Yes, you are. I, um, I used it all up. The film, I mean. 
You took a <laughs> hundred plus pictures of the same well, flower Well, she, she had just got come from the cat cafe, and I mean, like, you gotta take all the photos at the cat cafe, right? <laughs> but even if she didn't, like, the wildflower... It's like, okay, I can live without this cat photo. There's only so many wildflower <laughs> pictures that you can take, especially with that phone. It's a but she's, she's gonna be an Instagram model. <laughs> I don't care. You're taking all these photos of wildflowers. Like, there's a lot of space on a camera. A ton. This is back in the day. There still is at least enough for probably 100 photos. Did you seriously take 100 photos of just the same wildflowers and then be like, well, I guess I better take a photo you of this. Oh, of out of film. What? Oh, it's like we can find this in this disposable box from the 80s. <laughs> you ran out of film? Uh, this photo was the last one. What? Oh, what a great thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the truth. I personally examined all of the photographs she took that day. How about we see them? All of the other photos are of the witness herself playing among the wildflowers. <laughs> all all of, them. of them. She's like, I wait, I gotta, get the right, model. I gotta get the perfect Instagram thing of me playing in the flowers. Oh the, whole, the whole, if she had another person with her, the whole like, oh, I'm lying in the flowers with the flowers surrounding me and I'm all peaceful. They would have those. <laughs> nice Jesus on the cross pose there. No, that's basically what girls <laughs> do in the flowers or in the leaves. I've yep. seen so many like, it's fall, like posts. It's dumb. The witness herself, then who took the photos? Well, you see, my camera has a timer feature built into it. Come on, I wanted another witness. So you took the photos of yourself? Hmm. I remember taking some photos of myself once too. Please, no details. It seems that Miss Faye's assertion was not so decisive. No, this is I. My voice is changing for it this guy. Literally, Miss Faye's assertion I need, was not okay, so doc, decisive. Okay, Doc's voice is too okay. hard to con okay. consistently do. Switch it up. How about yeah. you have like, um, okay, he's blonde and he's got. <laughs> it seems Miss Faye's assertion was not so decisive. There you go. After all. <laughs> there you go. Wait, just a minute. Well, if she had no film left, she couldn't very well take my pictures, eh? <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I'm Arnold Just... Schwarzenegger's a judge. <laughs> he would be. I'm going to be the best judge that ever was. Okay, what has he been in aside from the Terminator and, like, Jingle All the Way? I mean, he was the governor of California. Okay, I'm saying movies that I might oh. have seen. Um, I don't really know off the top of my head. He did do... Quite a few things. I though. know he's done quite a few things, and he's well known for terminated. That that's the main thing. And then known. Jingle All the Way apparently is <laughs> decently well known just because. Oh, so he's bad. uh Mr. Freeze, I believe, in one of the Batman's. Weather forecast is gonna be a freeze. Who's really? Is he in the Lego Batman one? Cause I doubt only, it. That's the only Batman movie I've seen. <laughs> Miss Foster, perhaps then you could tell us about a different sort of photo and stop talking about Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Photos of the incident that you took with your very own eyes. Mr. Edgeworth, you're quite the poet. Very well then, let's get back and to your cross-examination. Cross <laughs> let's hear your thoughts on the fight that you witnessed. <laughs> yes, Mr. Judge. Boy, this guy's really a sucker for sweet talk. Ha. <laughs> It looks like the other kitten in the room is the one that's getting all the attention. Yeah, it's sickening. I thought he was just gonna be like, ha, and then have it fade into this. <laughs> I I was using my camera to take some pictures of wildflowers. So this is the same testimony. Suddenly you just started fighting. Blah, 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 blah. The victim turned around and tried to run away. So Wait, this is... but she only got about ten yards before she was stabbed in the back. 10 yards? Okay, wait. 3 feet and a yard. 30 feet. So 30 feet. The bridge is more than 30 feet? Um, well, yeah. To me, 30 feet is, like, long. A I mean, foot is less than you would think it is. It is less than, like, I think it's, like, that much. If that. That's way more than a foot. That much. It's, like, almost not that much longer a than my foot. A foot's as long as a foot! No, no, no a foot is... Oh, only just a little bit longer than my no, foot. No, okay. Do you <laughs> Ladies, have... I got big feet. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I've got wide have... feet. No, a ruler. Like, a ruler's like that long. About that long. And that's 12 inches. Do you have a ruler? I, I have a mini ruler on my pocket knife, but what? that's not... Why would you want a mini ruler? It can give up to six it's... inches. It's more for just measuring straight. 
lines. Okay, I mean, that, that would It doesn't sense. matter, anyways. <laughs> but, no, I'm trying to think about this because... A bridge what, did is... Did she die they... on the bridge? Or did she die... She did, yeah. Okay, but the bridge, 30 feet. That would be like if she was on the absolute end and then run, 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 stab into the water. Do you have any idea how large this bridge is? No. Wait, pull up the thing. The thing. That that floor plan. Yeah. That's five yards. So that right there is 15 feet. The bridge is way longer. Uh, the, Like, so it's the, probably the 60 bridge... feet long. Hold on. I'm looking. It's about so three of So five yards. Five. Ten. Fifteen it's about, yards. It's about 15 times yards. Times three. 45 feet. 45 feet. Okay. So it's possible, but she might start running and then fall through the crack. That's a good point. So, did she get stabbed, or did she just really lose her footing, because she looked like she was wearing heels? Well, let's press, how about? Yeah. The victim, why do you think she tried to run away? Um... With her police training, she certainly knew better than to turn her back on a criminal. This was a large, powerful man with a knife. If it had been a quaggy woman like you, I'm sure she would have acted differently. Quaggy? Why you- That's a word that doesn't get used very often. What does quaggy mean? I'm like, guessing- Like quack, quack, quack? I'm gonna look this up. Look I up. have- I have an idea. I, th I think it means like, weak. Yeah, weak or- <laughs> The first thing that came to my mind was fat. <laughs> She's not fat, though. No, she's not, but that seems like the type of thing that... Yeah, Let, let's look Edgeworth up. Would. Let's educate the uh, youth or oh. adults. Quaggy. Of the nature of or resembling a quagmire. Marshy, boggy, soft, or flabby. Oh, that, that's so, kind of... That, so that kind of be. a combination. Weak and flabby. Yeah, so basically just not strong and maybe, like, not toned. Speaking of strong, if it had been me, I probably would have jumped into the river, and the river would have obeyed me. <laughs> There's still something wrong with this testimony. Actually, I think I think one of the people who have once played this that I've watched also did a brief Schwarzenegger voice for the guy. Oh, that's great. Did, did, they, also, did they also, like, change the voice every time? Or are we just the original fabulous? I mean, I think he changed it after a little bit. Oh, okay. But, eh. Only got about ten yards. Okay. So, you're saying Sergeant Hawthorne wasn't able to get away from him? Well, it's a narrow bridge and it was swaying back and forth. If you ask me, both of them were in danger of falling off. I only wish I could have done something to help her. Hmm, that seems to make sense. I wonder about that. Something seems kind of off. Ha, <laughs> you have a good sixth sense. When you feel that something's off, that's when you need to figure out why. If Terry Falls isn't the criminal, then there must be something strange in that girl's testimony. Be careful, kitten. That girl has the judge wrapped right around her finger. Yeah, I know we this, know you this. idiot! Okay. <laughs> Just drink your coffee. Well, it's gonna be one of the two. Probably that So your one. idea was there's not enough room and she would just fall off the edge. Edge. Or she would... If you're literally like, oh gosh, there's a guy chasing me. You know, Have you ever been on those bouncy bridges? At the kids' playground. Not recently. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I know what if you mean. If you've been on those, and there's, no offense, a fat kid behind you, and you're running away, and you're playing tag, if you go, both go on the bridge at the same time, it'll go, blah, 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 and you can trip really, really, really easily right. because of the weight distribution. Yeah, yeah. So I think that could very well happen since she doesn't seem very big, and the guy seems just like the built Hulk. like a tank. Um, There's not much to do in prison except it, work out. I guess. Work out some more. What else? <laughs> um, yeah. So that's kind of my thought process. It could be something else, though. You want to try it? Yeah. It's not gonna. Oh, okay. Witness, your testimony is a joke. Huh? What? But, but I, I just... Miss Faye, I thought I warned you not to make oh. the wit- Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of like keep, the Arnold just voice. Just keep it forever. Uh, I thought I warned you not to make, make the, the witness, witness cry. <laughs> Miss Faye, I thought I warned you not to make the witness cry. <laughs> Where did your short statement always go? One short testimony and two bad contradictions. There's no possible excuse! You say there were two contradictions? It's simple. Just take a look at the diagram of the area. 
According to her testimony, the two of them were in the middle of the bridge. Oh, first idea. But if they were, and the victim had turned around and tried to run, well then... She, she would have hit a dead end! You said ten yards, but she couldn't have even run five! Because Dusty Bridge is collapsed on that side! It's Dusky Bridge, Marty. I said Dusty. How could you have not seen that? Uh, my my <laughs> tongue slipped. What? No, no, no. I'm talking to Alia. Or oh. Melissa Foster. Melissa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do not think all Melissas sound like that. I personally no. have met a few Melissas that have Have I met any? Oh, I met one. If it's the same one we're thinking of. No, I'm talking about one I've a few I've oh. met at college. Oh, I haven't met them. What? What does this all mean? It's very simple, Your Honor. This charming little witness took a charming little lie. Or told. told. <laughs> she took the lie and used it! <laughs> That's all there is to it. <laughs> the, this beautiful young lady's been lying to the court! <laughs> My voice is changing! <laughs> Just a moment, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor. Allow me to personally apologize for the confusion. Really? What do you, you mean you about that? You think you can do this? There's one major mistake in this diagram. What? What did you say? What are you referring to? It's all because this diagram was made after the incident occurred. It's a very old bridge. We couldn't find any official blueprints of it. S so you're saying... I'm saying that even though this bridge is currently in disrepair... There's no evidence that can prove that the bridge was broken during the incident. What? That's ridiculous! You can't actually tell the condition of the bridge from this photo. I apologize to the court for not being more clear when I presented the wow. evidence. Wow! Thanks, Edgeworth. Hmm. Hmm. This seems really suspicious and fishy. <laughs> ha. That guy is good. Huh? What do you mean? He planned it from the beginning. He's a genius, alright. That diagram of the bridge was his insurance policy. What? That coward! Well, Miss Faye, it seems you've once again made a reckless accusation. That's not reckless! We were completely fine! We and were then full you... of wreck! No, we were totally fine! And then he's just like, oh, well, what if the bridge was totally fine? You're like, that's a what if statement, sir, not a proven. <laughs> we proved something, if it's, cr if it's true. And he's like, well, technically it couldn't have. Yeah, <laughs> maybe one guy would. I'm so sorry. I should have been more careful myself. No, 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 no. It wasn't your fault at all. Now then, shall we go on with the trial? I'd like to establish once and for all what it was that the witness actually saw. Okay. Indeed. All right, young lady. May I ask you to please proceed with your testimony? I have one tone in the Schwarzenegger voice. I can't do anything other than just, Hey, I'm Arnold. If I, what is this? What's going on? It's basically just louder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I... It's so hard to go on. We're all on your side, Miss Foster. There's no need to worry. Just tell us what you saw. Is this... So question, is this the first time that Mia met her in court and then during this she met Phoenix? In this is her lobby? first time meeting... No, no, no. So, M Melissa, uh, if she is Dahlia, which is almost guaranteed, teed, yes. yes. Um, then that would have happened, I believe, six months from this point. So, so it's, it's, we're it's, saying that Mia met her two times with two different names, and she's like, yeah. No, because remember, remember Mia's like, Dahlia and I have met once. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Because she okay. was, she was like immediately, immediately suspicious of Dahlia. Oh yeah, I yes, sir. Then again, what's not to be suspicious? She's like, I'm just the hearts and rainbows and butterflies, girl. No, well, I was going to say nobody's pupils can possibly be that big. Except there are people I have encountered. One one person who streams on Twitch, I'm like, what the heck? Like she actually has like the Disney Bambi eyes. I mean, good for her. Unless she's wearing those contacts that make your pupils look bigger, which can absolutely it's happen. possible. Yeah. Running from the crime. Oh, boy. After he stabbed her in the back, he quickly picked her up into his arms. Wait, that sounds like... 
<laughs> oh, it, take out the stabbing in the back. That just sounds he like a romantic in. love scene in Disney. Where it's like, wait, come here. I've been like, dreaming yeah, of yeah, a true yeah, like, love's kid. Except for the stabbing. <laughs> oh, man. I want to watch that movie again. Yeah, Enchanted. we can watch that. That's a good one. It's cute. It's, oh, and it's got, um. <laughs> it's got some great It's gag. got Adina Menzel who doesn't sing. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I, that's wait. That's Idina Menzel. Yeah. Who's Nancy? Who's Nancy? Hey. Oh my gosh! I never knew that. You didn't? I knew no. that because right at that I knew, time, I knew Amy Adams was the lead, but oh yeah, Amy Adams is obvious. great. Yeah, but <laughs> but I knew that because at the time, like Wicked was rising to prominent. I, it already had, but it was still prominent, and I was like, wait, isn't that Elphaba? <laughs> Why is she singing ever? <laughs> and then there's the guy who is in Hairspray, and I can't remember his name. Corn Collins. No, it's not that guy. Like, I mean, his actual stage name. Corny Dude. Collins. It's not Corny <laughs> Collins. It, it's, um... Oh, he's in and Transformers? And it's got Peter Pettigrew. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah, it's got a good cast. It really does. Most people do not remember Enchanted at all. That's sad. It's good. Or most of my friends haven't seen it. <laughs> Great part. Well... No, no, enough of Enchanted. Enough Gotta of get enchanted. back to this. And they carried her over to the car. Yeah, this sounds so romantic if you take out the, the stabbing. Oh, like, or this sounds like a an anime scene where it's like, Oh, I hurt my ankle. And this, like, the... I'll take you to my car. No, no, but he's like, I'll take you to the office. She's like, no, no, I'm fine. And then he, like, picks her up and walks her through the school. And everyone's like, oh, do you think they're dating? Oh, and then, like, and then they he do. takes... And then, and then they do. Yeah. Because, like, well, everyone already thinks we, we date. date so, I guess so I guess we should. That is literally one of the Fire Emblem Awakening support conversation sets. I think it's Lucina and Brady. Where it's, like, it's like on their A support, it's like, well... Or their S support, it's like, well, everyone thinks we're dating. I guess we might as well star. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I haven't married. played that game nearly enough. I suppose that was the only way he could make sure the body stayed hidden. He couldn't just leave the body on top of the bridge. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm only supposed to talk about what I saw. You mean you didn't see him <gasps> carry her into the car? No, no, she was just... Her second to last statement was a supposition. Okay. Hmm, witnessing such violence must have been difficult. Also, congrats on taking like two to three minutes on a five statement testimony. <laughs> that was a world record. Yes, sir. I'm still shaken up. If he accepts this testimony as it is, we're finished. D don't say that. Oh, well. Maybe I'll stop off at my favorite cafe on the way home. They make a really great mocha latte. This trial isn't over yet. Ha. That's what I like to hear. Meanwhile, Adros like, could you stop slamming on your desk? <laughs> <laughs> he does it too. All, all right, Miss Fay, cross examination, please. This contradiction is staring at you right in the face, Mia. Go on the attack. Psh, running from the crime. Whenever I first saw that, like when it's like the faces are zooming against each other, I always thought there were like freckles in the middle. Oh I know, yeah, no. I know now it's like I the other that. thing, but yeah. I'm like, oh. I thought it was like a real close up of your character, and I'm like, wait, but like we're like, you can have see, freckles. you can see everyone's pores. <laughs> like, uh, I don't weird. want that. <laughs> so he, he carried her in his arms. Are you saying that the victim didn't fall down on the bridge? Uh, um, actually, maybe she did. Fall of course, she didn't fall down on the bridge. If she had fallen down, this photo wouldn't make any sense. If that was the case, her coat would have been all muddy. If you don't mind, I was asking the witness. <sighs> no need to be so rude. Well, young lady. Of course she didn't fall down. The man in the prison uniform grabbed her before she could. I'm guessing what happened was Edgeworth was like, Okay, it's your first court case. You I'm... do everything that I say. Edgeworth She's like, was but much... I need to know what I say. No! <laughs> I will tamper with the... Uh, I will update the, the autopsy, autopsy report, report so many times! Ha. <laughs> <laughs> huh. We're one step too slow. And then, what did the defendant do after that? Turns out the defendant didn't have a heart. Is he like a robot? No. It's like... <laughs> the victim, actually, not a defendant. <laughs> <laughs> Carried her over to the car. You're, you personally witnessed that? Yes. Did anything strange happen when he did that? Well, I don't know if you'd call it strange or not, but that's when the victim's scarf fell off. Hmm, you mean this scarf? 
Her words match what we found at the scene. I don't see any problem. Yeah, you absolutely planned this. <laughs> I suppose that was the only way to make sure the body stayed hidden. Edgeworth just, like, spends the whole night, like, okay, just read this teleprompter. <laughs> the teleprompter's <laughs> going in the background. And then I saw... <laughs> it's like when you forget the lyrics in the word, like, the, when you're, when they're playing the guitar and they're like, the, 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 <laughs> yeah. like, remember the lyrics later. <laughs> you mean the defendant carried the body all by himself? Yes. Considering the size of the defendant, I don't think it would be difficult. Yeah, people like half his size could carry someone that size. Yes, but let's remember they were on a narrow bridge that was ready to collapse. Is it even possible for him to have carried a dead body on the bridge like that? Well, the fact of the matter is that he did. That kind of talk is just silly. <sighs> wow, why did he get so emotional all of a sudden? Miss Faye, if you think there's some other possibility, please share it with the rest of us. Couldn't have just left the body. Why do you say that? It's already a broken down bridge hidden away in the mountains. Doing anything more to hide the corpse would be going overboard, wouldn't it? Yes, but the mountain is famous among hikers. Yeah, that would be weird if you're hiking and you're like, duh, 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 uh. <laughs> 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 then you're like, uh, the sleeping with the fishes, and like kicks the body over the bridge. I don't know. You would call the police! <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Wow, Surprise. Marty. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Remember, guys, if you ever see a dead body on the bridge, just kick it into the river! Well, it's in your way when you're going across the bridge. Only also, do it if it's in your way. <laughs> <laughs> assuming, assuming that, um, the. What is it? The bridge is still in. I thought the bridge would be out by now, so, like, it would just- the body- if he left the body, it'd just fall in the river. And then he'd have to either fish it out, which would be dumb. Or just leave or, it there. Or leave it there, or make a dummy that looks like the- <laughs> So that way, Edgeworth, when he sees it, he's like, I'm gonna update the autopsy report later. <laughs> have it prove it's not her. Anyway, these are all my theories. A surprising number of people go up there. But it's February, right? And it was raining that day, correct? There's also a small temple and a channeling dojo there. Ooh! Maya should go there. You know those monks, they just love the cold, isolated places. I think the witness is trying to say that the corpse could have been found at any time. Besides, the witness is merely reporting what she witnessed with her own eyes. I don't think she witnesses at all. Oh, she... I'm sorry. I'm only supposed to talk about what I saw. And you are absolutely sure that it was my client who was carrying the body. Well, he was wearing a prisoner's uniform, but as for his face... So you're saying you didn't get a clear look at his face? You need a better voice. It's going off a bit. So you're saying you didn't hear There you her go. <laughs> there you go. Well, they were far away and it was raining as well. I thought I was only supposed to say exactly what I saw. Excellent! You're a remarkably honest young woman, even though you've lied twice now. Yeah. <laughs> Something about this testimony is bothering me, but what? Hey, kitten. Have you ever put salt in your coffee? No. Why would I? Why not? Huh? It may actually go better with coffee than sugar, right? Listen, my point is if you're not sure, you might as well add a ton of salt to it. It might... bring out the rust in something. Like a piece of evidence. He's right, Mia. Go present something. You've got nothing to lose. Except the penalty meter. By the way, I wouldn't put salt in my coffee. The two don't go well after all. Secretly, he <laughs> brought a salt shaker and he was like, Ch -ch -ch. Nope. <laughs> nope, that sucks. <laughs> That's bad. Um, okay, whatever. Picked him up and picked her up. Picked her carried, up. Carried, carried her. her to the car. Uh huh. That's, That's the, the only, only way, way to the... make the body stay hidden. Couldn't, couldn't just leave the body the on top bridge. of the bridge. I'm only, only supposed, supposed to talk, talk about what I, what I saw. I think it should be the carried over the bridge one. Or the not uh, carried over the bridge. <laughs> carried carried over to the car? The... No, the um the bridge. They couldn't leave her on top of the bridge. Okay. Um let's do, think about this. Bridge do, do. The bridge could be broken at this point. We haven't proven otherwise. <laughs> um <laughs> 
What a coincidence if, if, if it broke right after the murder. <laughs> I think it could I think it could have during the struggle. It's an old bridge. Maybe they were like, D Were they doing like a jujitsu on it? <laughs> hey -ya! It's Ma Francis! Maybe! I mean, this gal is a police sergeant. They're mm -hmm. fierce. She could be like, no, I'm going to fight you back. And they start fighting. Like, it could be- No, it could be exactly like that Kung Fu Panda bridge scene. Where the bridge goes out, and then she flies down, swings wow. around, comes up. The bridge isn't completely wrecked, it's just a few planks on that one part. Right, but that, that, that happens though, and then like... Sometimes you channel Kung Fu Panda and destroy a whole bridge and swing on it and do Kung Fu moves. <laughs> and then run up the, the, the ledge. <laughs> Leave it all to, uh, Tiger- not Tigress. Leave it all to the Cricket. Mantis. Mantis. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking of Mulan. Mantis, who's holding up the entire bridge. <sighs> anyway, it could be something like that, at least, where they're fighting, and their fighting causes the bridge to collapse, and then they have to evacuate. Maybe he takes her to evacuate, and then she's like, ah, and falls and faints. Falls and faints? What? I don't know. In that uh, order. <laughs> <laughs> that would make no sense. Um, okay. What else could there be? Um, the other thing that's tipping me off is that she's like, I'm only supposed to talk about what I saw, which... That's not the one, I'll just say. Okay. Um, couldn't just leave the body. I would say there's a lot of reasons we could leave the body, but then Edgeworth was like, many people go through here. Hikers! Monks! <laughs> All these people. <laughs> Monks who are hiking. <laughs> uh, I wonder if Mikes do... Er, Mikes? I wonder if Mikes do both. <laughs> 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 I wonder if monks go hiking. That could be a really good children's book. Do monks go hiking? No, just monks go hiking. Like the like uh, going on a bear hunt. Yeah, like going on a bear hunt, but it's like monks go hiking <laughs> and they go and see all these things. Could be cool. Anyway, um, let, let's think about what we're gonna present. I already know what to present. This okay, is on you. <laughs> I show me the, the the stuff, the evidence to present. We only have one page, which is nice. That's yeah. the nice thing about doing a case like this. Couldn't just leave her. <sighs> oh, we also have profiles. Oh. She's 19. Wow. Okay. And He's Gung not Shu. 19. No. Nope. He's only 26. Dang. Uh, I still think it's weird he's 25. Only 25. 25? Well, he's seen some things. Yeah. Like, if that was me in, like, less than three years, like, oof. That's like if you did meth. <laughs> a little His bit. teeth are too good for that. That's true. <laughs> He's not like, um, what is it, hippo that you fight in Punch-Out. King Hippo. King Hippo. Where he's got, like, all the teeth and he's like, Wah. Or that guy from Avatar that eats rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. Yep. <laughs> he basically is King Hippo. Who is King Hippo, yeah. Anyway, I can't think of what we're gonna present, so let's not make everyone wait forever. All that right. was the only way to make the body stay hidden. Oh yeah, he could have just dumped her in the river, sleeping with the fishes! A killer not wanting his victim to be found. I can understand that. However, the idea of moving the body for that purpose is clearly odd. There was a much easier way to make sure the body wasn't found. Yeah, I should have thought of this. Well, what is it? Take another look at the map of the area and you'll see how. There's a river right below the bridge. Earlier, Mr. Edgeworth pointed out something interesting about the river. For those who are not aware, Eagle River is well known for its powerful current. Most bodies that fall in are never recovered. Ah. In the kidnapping case five years ago, the victim's body was carried away and never found. If ten murders were to occur at that same spot above Eagle River, you can bet your boots that every other killer would have tossed the body in the water. Order, order, order. I'm not sure if I care for the way you put that, Miss Faye, but I must admit it does seem odd not to have thrown the body into the river. <sighs> well, Mr. Edgeworth. Ah, <sighs> how sad. Perhaps Miss Faye would do well to try taking a dip in the river herself. After all, you claim to be such an expert in the ways of nature. What are you talking about? My point is that no matter how odd you may find the killer's method of body disposal, 
the fact is that this is what the killer did. None of your arguments have anything to do with what the witness saw. Hmm, quite true. Miss Faye, it seems that your assertion is without merit after all. But what the witness claims to have seen is totally ridiculous. Surely you can't deny that the body was found in the trunk of the car. That's certainly consistent with what the witness has told us. Ah. <sighs> Please, witness, go on with your testimony. I'll try. All you have to do is tell us only what you saw. Or, by that, I mean, tell us only what I told you to say <laughs> earlier in the <laughs> lobby. Otherwise, the mean lady might yell at you again. Who is he talking about? All right, I'll do my best. There's so many testimonies. Okay, after he stabbed her, woo! After he stabbed her, we'll find out next time. Because okay. we're running a little on, on this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody! Tune in next time. Hopefully we'll beat the pants off of Farmer Ben. And by oh, Farmer Ben, yeah. I mean Edgeworth. Because, boy, how does his mean... pants need to be beaten off? <laughs> yeah. That's for you, <laughs> fangirls. Look forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.